The cartoon showed four priests reacting to Sinead O'Connor after she ripped up a picture of the Pope on Saturday Night Live. Today, the Tribune says we regret if good priests felt unfairly treated, but the cartoon was a legitimate journalistic comment. Bernadine says he is satisfied. Well, they, it was not exactly an apology. However, they did pay tribute to our good priest. Just last week, the Cardinal had sent a letter to the paper demanding an apology for Jeff McNelly's cartoon. Demanded an apology for the Tribune cartoon showing four priests watching singer Sinead O'Connor tear up a picture of the Pope. One of them wondering what she is doing on Friday night, according to the cartoon. They regretted that they might have offended some of our good priests, and so I'm, I'm pleased that they did that. A Tribune Sunday editorial denies the paper defamed priests, saying the issue concerns sexual abuse of children. At least 21 priests have been removed from parishes in the Chicago Archdiocese over the past year amid allegations of sexual misconduct. The cartoon debases the clergy. It's a satire. Four priests reacting to singer Sinead O'Connor's tearing up of a photo of the Pope on television. The Trib stuck up for the cartoon in today's editorial page, saying it's a legitimate journalistic comment about sexual misconduct by some priests. Bernardine now says he's satisfied with the paper's response, but many Catholics attending the rededication of a Northwest Side church today are not. The church has been taking too many, getting too many cheap shots over the last year or so, so I didn't like it at all. I don't think it was a good target. I mean, it's kind of a, an attempt to, it seems, turn the, the whole picture around and make it look like it's a, a sort of an inside uh, situation. Parishioners of St. Mary's of the Angels were much more upbeat today about the reopening of their church. The 71-year-old structure was rededicated today after a four-year fundraising and repair effort.